I'm Florence Ballard A3060, and you're into something good. Well, 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 guys, we're finally back to doing ironing videos again. Uh, I know before, ages ago, back in like end of 2017 or beginning of 2018, we started the series of various appliances in which we would combine any steam irons I got into that series. However, seeing as I'm not a British Heart Foundation anymore, and therefore I do not receive such a large amount of appliances like I used to do, uh, it's no point doing various appliances because... There'll only probably be enough for one more and that'll be it. So we're back to doing irons on their own. This here is something very special and very vintage. It's a 1980s Morphe Richards Technique 3000 model 42480. This was given to me free of charge by our fellow collector Luke Skelding, who I visited up in Stoke-on-Trent. And we traded it for, I believe, it was a... I don't know if it was a Philips or something. I, ha I had something vintage that he wanted. Oh, it was another Morphe Richards, I think. And he gave me this one. Um, I had to put a new plug on because this was from when appliances came with no plugs. So I put fit a brand new 13 amp plug, fused. Uh, we've only just briefly plugged this in, one with a kite mark. But apart from that, I have not actually fully checked this out. So we do what we normally used to do as always, an overview and then a quick demonstration um, you guys are on the same boat as me watching this because we don't know if this actually properly works. Although I have plugged it in and the high end did heat up, but I haven't had the thing running for long. So you can see it's got very nice classic uh, beige and the clearish brown sort of 80s colours to it, whereas the bright orange as well, which a lot of Hoover appliances had back in the day. You see there, there's a lot more that's more unique about this iron in comparison to any of my others that I've got. So you made proudly made in Great Britain. Oh yeah, you might see that the logo font is in the same as the vintage Hotpoint logo. This is because Morphe Richards and Hotpoint were under the same uh, brand, the same sort of like, I don't know what they, I think it was this made by them, so I can't remember. Um, that's why in Australia, the Hotpoint Liberator is also branded as the Morphe Richards Liberator. You've got your tank here. And you've also got this as well. I'll show you what this is as well. Here's your heat selection. You've also got um, your steam on or off rocker switch, as well as your very, very clunky heat selector. Uh, I do believe the heat selector is there. So it's off at the moment. Or was it here? I can't remember where it was. It's somewhere. I'll know if it comes on when I switch on. And you've also got your power, so when you plug that in it comes on, and when the iron's heating. It's the first time I've ever had an iron that's got two uh, of these there. It has got a two pound uh, sticker on it, but I don't think that that's anything to do with the price. Maybe what Luke were ordered for. I can't remember where he got this again. And you've got your surge and spray. It controls the water. There's your water jet here. Now, I'll also show you something else. Watch this. I can remove put this here, if you remove that, I know I can because I was able to do it last time, there we are, so that's basically just a cover, see this button here, it says plate eject, look at the bottom here, press that, that is to clear out all the scale, I have given this a go with cleaning, but um, I'm going to give that another good go. That's the first time I've ever seen this, although I do believe the JML Phoenix Gold features this. I don't know if the Free Flight does, but I know the JML Phoenix Gold has some sort of removable plate. So that's something I've never had on any iron. I've only had something that you pull out the back here to empty on a Philips one. And also got the water spray here. So I'm going to plug this in, and you're going to see if this works just like I will. And we'll see how it goes. 
Here we go. Right, so I've just figured out what this is for. This is actually, it acts as a water jug. I if I can get it off that is. Look, pour your water in there, tip it into the iron. Right, we're gonna plug this in now. Switch off my electric blanket so I don't blow the house circuits. See this baby heats. There's power and we're heating. So that must be the point of there then. Steam's on. And I'm nervously gonna pour this in. So we don't need too much. That goes in there. As usual, we end up dropping it all over the iron. <sighs> See what though, I can feel some heat off that. Um, see how we're doing for water in there. Pour some more in the jug. We don't need too much because we're only designing this pair. And of course, this hasn't got a blast. Famous creaking of the iron. Right, let's put that back on. Right, so you can see that the uh, heat light and the power light is on, so that's going to heat up all the way. I'm going to put this onto surge so we can try that with the water. Steam is on. I can hear the steam about to come out now. Let's see. All right, we've done heating. Let's go. Zoom the camera out. So I can smell a bit of burning off this is because it probably hasn't been used in a while. But we're steaming quite well. This has just come out of the dryer and out of the Hoover A3060 actually. So we just did a whole load. So we've done it vintage style, 70s and 80s style. Right, let's get some water out of this baby. That's some good steam that is. Um, we'll try and... Mm. Let's try and change the spray. Oh, hang on. There we go. So we're spraying. Right, what if I turn to surge? Uh, maybe the surge don't work on it. But it's doing a very good job, as you can see. Very smooth uh, gliding. This has got. Very, very nice style. Look at that steam that comes off that. I'm not, I'm not going to blast the camera like I used to do because it's not good for the camera to get uh, heat or humidity on that. Well, steam. Let's put it back. Flip this over. Let's do on the other side. Actually, a very good iron. I like this. Oh, I miss doing these videos. And this is actually getting increases that properly. It's got a very uh, pointy precision to it, which is uh, you don't find on many 80s irons, actually, to be honest. Um, I've got a couple of others from the 80s, I think. I've got oh, no, Rowentas, but Rowentas were always a step ahead. I can't get that surge to work though, unfortunately. I'll keep it on spray. And we're back to heating. Let's dissolve some of that water. Wow, one final glance. So there you go, the heat light has just gone off, meaning the iron's heated properly. Um, have I got any more irons I'm trying to, oh yes I have got two more irons I can demonstrate. And I do pop into British Heart Foundation from time to time and pick up any good irons I see. Um, so...
that's very nice. I shame about the surge though, we can't get that to work. I don't even know what it was supposed to have done. It's such a good amount of steam coming off that. And we're not going to blast out all the water like we used to do, we're just going to simply turn the iron off. So as I say, get a bit more steam out, water, dry it all up. This is one brilliant 80s iron. Technique 3000, we know the technique of using this. And there we go. It goes there, back in the, just on the holder. My tripod has been done up so tightly, I don't know who's done that. Oh wait, me, because I'm the only freaking user. Uh -huh. Right, switch her off, so turn this back. Anyway, it must be the other way you turn. That's weird. You only got... Oh, weird. Okay, because I'm going to unplug. And because that's got a stainless steel sole plate, I will keep that on my computer desk. If you guys didn't know I have a computer desk, I do now. So I can sit there and edit my videos better. So yeah, that's that. Alright, let's talk about the sign. Alright guys, that was a vintage 1980s Morphe Richards Technique 3000 model 42480 steam iron. A uh, very unique iron, and I'm glad to be filming irons again. I've just let it cool down a bit, but it is still quite hot. It's going to sit there on the uh, bed on the computer table and cool off. That's my collection of irons in my room at the moment. Uh, we are still to test that Black and Decker one that I bought freaking three years ago. Bloody three years ago, I brought that, and well, I haven't tested it. And there's two irons there to test, and there's the line of Rowentas up there. Um, we're going to test that this year when I head to America. Um, I'm also going to be looking for a floor tool. If any vacuum enthusiasts are watching this, please tell me if you have a Dyson DC02 floor tool for the Antarctica Solo model, the Breakthrough Blue and White Retro Edition. I have got a Vax, uh, what's that? Air cord Solo Air Cordless vacuum. I haven't got a charger for it. I picked it up from outside so I can repair it. It does work, so I may do a quick video on that. Apart from that though, um, well, that's the VAC 6131T there. Apart from that, just more irons. I do have a JML Phoenix Gold Free Flight, which I'll probably be doing soon. Apart from that, more videos of the Miele and whatnot. And we do have hair dryers to do. And also, coming up is a laundrette video tomorrow. I'm going to try and do that. Oh, we have got a toy washing machine to film. The Miele Novatronic. i got to film that one. It's on my collection there. Might be getting another toy washing machine as well. I won't reveal anything about it. But I'm, I've seen one that I might like. So, hope you enjoyed that guys. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to keep it supreme. And go with the flow.